Hi guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm actually doing a hair tutorial. Nothing crazy, I'm just gonna show you how I've done my sleek bun. This is my go-to hairstyle. Like, I wear this like multiple times a week. I just love it, I love just having my hair off my face. I'm all for efficiency, I wanna do things quick and as easy as possible and that's what we're gonna do today. So this is the finished product. Here's the back. Super easy, super sleek, let's get into it. So this is what I'm starting with. My hair is a little bit on the dirty side, we could say, but everyone knows that your hair slicks back a lot better if your hair is a little bit dirty. I would never like try and put fresh, clean hair in a bun because I feel like it just doesn't work as well. So I'm just gonna show you the products that I use. I've not always used this, but I've recently started using Batiste dry shampoo just to freshen up the sides and the top. I feel like it looks like your hair's like a lot cleaner. I feel like it just looks a bit fresher with that. I also use the Way Matte Pomade. This is a staple. This I've used this for literally years. As you can see, like the, the tub is like very much used. I feel like a lot of people use that. And then I just use a hairspray just to like set it all in when I'm done. This is just the Silhouette by Schwarzkopf. But I'll link all the products down below. And... If you want to try them, you can. I also use like one of these bristly ball brushes. This has got one side quite, quite scratchy and quite like dense, and then the other one's a little bit softer. I usually do use the spikier side, and I also just use like a tangle teaser style brush. Right, so I'm just doing my makeup. That's why I've got these in. As I said, my hair is a little bit on the dirty side. I have slicked it back the past few days, so I am gonna use the Batiste. So I'll just spray a little bit. Sort of in my roots and on top just to kind of I don't know I feel like it just gives it a little bit of a fresher look I don't usually use my fingers to, sh to like rub it in because I feel like if you want to get rid of the greasiness you've probably got a bit of grease on your fingers so I usually just use the brush and just kind of rub it in like that like mimic what your fingertips would do and then I'll take the pomade I usually get about this much and then just rub it in my hands. I don't put it in my fingertips, I actually put it all over my hands because I will then brush sort of all over the roots like that and then run my hands all the way underneath uh, the back and the sides like that. I feel like it gets it all like ready to be poured back. First of all, I'll just grab it in my hands like this, pull it all back, obviously it's quite messy. And then I might just get like a little bit more and just pull back these sides. Cause these are the bits obviously you want really, really slicked back. And then same on that side. And I've been doing my bun slightly higher recently just cause my hair has got slightly longer. So I feel like I can get away with pulling it up a little bit higher now. I love like a sleek bun with a center part in. Now I've actually, <laughs> I tried the Sophia Ritchie sleek bun tutorial the other day because I've never actually tried it. And if you've if you've seen it or if you try it or if like that's how you do your bun then you'll know. But she pulls down like her two front fringy bits and clips them here, slicks the rest back, and then she'll like pull the fringe back. And I just find that really, really difficult. Like I feel like it just makes it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. I just feel like it's unnecessary. Oh, it'll look a little bit like this, all pulled back with the tangle teaser. As you can see, I've still got my little part in there and then everything's kind of pulled back. I feel like this is just the easiest thing ever. I feel like no one needs a tutorial on how to do this, but I do get asked sometimes how I do it, so I thought I would share. Once I've gone in with the tangle teaser, I'll just put my bobble on my wrist. I just use these like small scrunchies because they're a little bit better on your hair than like actual bubbles and then I will grab my bristly brush and I'll just go over again now I feel like this brush is really good for just getting it flat against your hair the, the tangle teaser is good for sort of managing it and sort of getting it all together but then I feel like this one's just good for like pulling it as tight as you want and like really flattening it against your head when you got it all together just pull it into a bobble. I'll just put it straight into a ponytail, pull it tight, and then I'll just go in with like a little bit more pomade, just to really slick it back, slick back the cat, 
Okay, so I'll get my second bobble and I'll just spin my hair around like this. So I just twist it and then wrap it round. There we go, like that. So I just twist it into a little bun and then I like these like little bits here. So I usually just like pull, spike them out a bit like that. I used to have a little bob and it's slowly, slowly growing out. So my hair's at that length where it's only just long enough to get into one of those buns. I used to do my bun a little bit different. I'll put a picture on the screen. Literally just the most casual, like, pulled through bun. I still really like that style, but I used to kind of mix it up and do something like this. I think this is like what most people do. But yeah, I, I just kind of play around with that spiky bit. And then I'll just take a third bobble. I feel like the third bobble is really necessary. I feel like it really pulls everything back and it just makes the bun feel like a lot more secure. My hair is very thick, so I feel like it definitely needs like that third one just to like hold it all in place. So I'll just go, so I'll just go over the top of that last bobble. I will sometimes just go in with a little bit of hairspray, um, just for a little bit more. Protection, like if you're going outside and stuff, you don't want any like wispy bits coming down. And we're done! How easy was that? Now here's it from the back. So I'm hoping it looks good from the back because I actually can't see it, but I literally do the hairstyle like multiple times a week. So easy, I feel like it really just pulls you together. And I hate having my hair on my face, so I feel like it's just an easy, stress-free hairstyle and it literally takes like a few minutes. So I know a bun is just like such an easy hairstyle, I feel like everyone can do it, but Obviously everyone has like little different techniques and like different products they use, so I thought I would share mine with you. I will link all the products below and the hairbrushes and stuff. Thank you so much for watching, clicking on this video, and I will see you next Sunday for the next one.